Uh, hi everyone, welcome to Ailes Mortgage Solutions. I'm a director and independent mortgage and uh, protection consultant at Ailes Mortgage Solutions. So before I start this video, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that this video is only for information purposes. So please speak to an advisor or legal representative uh, before committing yourself financially. Before I start the video, I would like to request you to like my videos and uh, subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon so you get notification for all the videos uh, when I make in the near future. As expected, uh, Wednesday's budget was focused on pandemic with some schemes extended with some new ones introduced as well uh, to help businesses and the people. We're going to look at 10 ways Rishi Shunak's budget can affect you. First of all, furlough. Shunak has extended the furlough to the 30th of September. It was due to expire on the end of April. So what does it mean for you? 4.7 million people are currently on furlough with about 1.2 million uh, hospitality industry. So wages of millions of people unable to work due to restrictions will continue up to 80% of the salary subsidized by government within the maximum of 2,500 pounds a month. Bear that in mind, this will gradually be lifted with the government reducing it to, uh, reducing its contribution to 70% from July. And uh, so the employer will pay 10% of every hour not worked August and September, government will pay 60%, so the employer will have to pay 20% of it. Second, self-employment grant. I have a further 600,000 self-employed people who have been excluded from support measure will now be eligible to claim the grants from February to April and then from May to September. So how does it work? So they will be worth 80% of three months average trading profit, up to 7,500 pounds, for those who saw their turnover uh, fell by 30% or more. For people whose turnover fell by less than that will get 30% grant. So it depends on how, how your business is affected. Newly self-employed people who were previously unable to benefit from the scheme, but now tragedy said, you know, they have access to 2019-20 uh, data. So yeah, so they can benefit from it as well. Third, how to buy hardship business. About 5 billion grant scheme is being released to help businesses that have been taken into lockdown flack. non essential shops, which are due to open first, uh, I think, in 12th of April, the grant will be about £6,000 per premises. Hospitality and leisure businesses, including personal care, gyms, will have access to grants up to £18,000. Five, universal credit and working tax credit payments. £20 a week temporary increase in universal credit will be extended from uh, for further six months, which was introduced in the lockdown at last March due to end in uh, 31st of March, but that will be extended as well. So uh, more it's worth more than £1,000 a year uh, for about 6 million people, which might be very useful for uh, families in needs. So that's a good thing. For those who's receiving tax credit payments will get equivalent of six weeks uh, payment up to lump sum of 500 pounds. Mr. Shunak said it means that one payment is needed so that's a good thing. Number six, business rates holidays. A retail business, leisure, hospitality, about 100% of business rates holidays were introduced last year extended uh, until June. For the remaining nine months of the financial after that it will be discounted uh, to two-thirds up to two million pounds for the businesses that had closed due to pandemic. Bear that in mind, there will be a lower cap for those who have been able to stay open during the pandemic. Number seven, VAT reduction. For hospitality, for tourism, up to 5% a reduced VAT scheme will be extended uh, until uh, 30th of September. So that's a good thing and give them some space to grow their business further. For the six months after that, the VAT will be 12.5% uh, before rising to original, 20% in April. So that's a good thing as well. Due to the large number of house sales under the stamp duty holiday, the scheme will be extended uh, for the first £500,000 until uh, 30th of June. After that, it will be no stamp duty for the first £250,000 until end of September. So it kind of extended, but you know, the amount will be lower. And it will go back to usual level uh, of no stamp duty for the first £125,000 from 1st of October. So you still have that time. The domestic abuse, uh, there has been a significant rise in domestic abuse due to uh, people staying at home, pandemic, you know. 
the Chancellor has assigned uh, a further 19 million pounds for the domestic violence program, so that's a good thing as well. Number 10, alcohol and fuel duty. There will be no rise in alcohol and fuel duty. Thanks for watching the video. I would like to request you to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you can get the notification for all the videos that I make in the future. Thank you.